you've shown us in previous videos that it's not the single data points that's the problem. It's when someone like you can aggregate huge amounts of data that it gets really worrying. I'll put a link below to a video where Micah was able to take data sets of someone's drinking and then like create crazy patterns of, I just thought you liked beer. Come on, Micah. I might like beer, but I don't like telling the world. I just drank this beer at this location with these people at this date and time. And that's really what Untapped is. Untapped, you take your mobile device. But this is a lot more serious because this is people's passwords. This is this is serious when, when someone gets hacked. So really want to thank you for, you know, sharing tips and, you know, showing us why we have to be really, really careful. You know, I think that there are certain things in the cybersecurity and the personal security world that are really hard to implement. Using a separate password on every single site, if you have one of these password managers, is a simple thing that once you get in the habit of it, can really maximize the security aspect of it. So I'm hoping your audience uh, takes that to heart. How many, <laughs> how many random passwords can you make and remember? And that's why someone uses a crazy like password and uses it over and over again. It's not easy to have a hundred different unique passwords. David, I used to do uh, cybersecurity work. And one of the things that I did for one company was every 90 days, because their password changing policy was every 90 days, their employees had to change their passwords. Yeah. And so every 90 days, I got a dump of all of their internal passwords. And my goal was, was not to embarrass people or whatever, but to see that password hygiene. So see how people were doing with the complex rules that this company company had. There were some people that used just random letters and numbers that were really strong and secure, and I never, ever cracked those passwords. But then there were some people that found ways around the rules, like using A1, 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 15 or 20 times. And then guess what? 90 days later, A2, A2, A2. And there were other things. People would start out with roots, like this password is for fall. Well, guess what happened when it turned into winter? You know, it was really predictable. Um, So you're absolutely right. We use these strategies, whether they're mnemonic, uh, my kids are, you know, this person, this person, this person, and then next month you shift them around or something. We use mnemonics and we use those things that we can remember to help us, but the reality is we shouldn't be doing any of that. We should be relying on these password managers if we trust them. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, LastPass has just had a breach recently. Yeah, it was a breach of their development environment. And yeah. according to LastPass, they, you know, the, the, the key material, the, the safe material, none of it was accessed, but it can be scary. And that's why I used to use KeePass XC, which put a file on my system that somebody would have to compromise my system to get access to my vault. Depending on your personal risk tolerance, you can go ahead and, and do what you want, but use something. Don't come up with, you know, Mike is my favorite purple shirted person. Although that's a secure <laughs> password, you can only use that so many times. <laughs>